Hey, 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 it's Terry, Virginia's daughter, and I'm back finally in the sewing lab. Oh my goodness, when I tell you it has been three weeks since I've been here, I mean that thing. Traveled for a couple of weeks, came back, wasn't able to get in the lab right away, and am just finally getting down here now. So, I'm still working on round four. So far, I've only gotten one project done. What I will say is that I took everything with me, packed it up in a bag as if I was gonna get some sewing done. I have done it in the past. I have been able to sew when I traveled, but this time I wasn't able to. But it is what it is. I decided to get down here today and to do as much as I can. Initially, I thought that I would work like a manufacturer. I think I mentioned that in my introduction video of this round. I cut everything out, you know, for some reason I had in my mind like I was gonna work like a manufacturer. And I remember my mom used to really watch this lady, Margaret Islander, Islander, and she would teach how to so like a manufacturer, is that's what I remember about her. And if you remember Margaret Islander, if you know who I'm talking about, leave a comment below. Just say, hey, I remember her, or, you know, I know who you're talking about. So I decided that I thought, you know, why don't I do that with this project since five of the projects are pretty much the same. The, the long tunic doesn't have all the details. It doesn't have the side band the hem band, the lower band, the lower hem. It doesn't have any of that stuff. It just has the front band and the neck band. So, you know, that's pretty cool. The jumpsuit that's also in this round, the only project that's not from this pattern is nearly complete. The long tunic, getting back to that, I don't think it's gonna take very long to do that. It's the five tunics that I've selected that I thought, oh, you know what? I could just do this kind of like an assembly thing. Now, granted, you know, there's, hundreds of people in, a, in the manufacturing process. So I just thought, I'll just see what I can do and learn and da, 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 da. So I started out by interfacing all the pieces, which I'm glad I did that. And then I think I stitched up some sleeves. So I interfaced all the pieces or most of them. I think there were some that I didn't interface. I take that back. Interfaced, started the sleeves, put the darts in all the fronts. I guess I could be showing you some of this. I hesitate to take this apart because the one thing that I didn't do very well is to plan out the actual tunics. Going back to the original process, I just picked out five fabrics that I wanted, six that I wanted to use, and I started cutting it out. I, I didn't even cut all the pieces out. I had to go back, since my video introducing this round, I had to go back and cut out the side bands. So I had these pieces cut out. I had the front cut out, the front band. Some of the neck bands I didn't even have cut out. And then maybe a couple of these, but I, I had to cut out a lot. So let's start there. I had to cut a lot of pieces out. So that was one thing. I had all these pieces cut out with all this fabric and I thought, oh, I wanna mix and match. I wanna leave some. Do I wanna use Rick Rack? So it was poor planning. That's something that I recommend not doing if you're gonna do this process. Again, I'm learning as I go. It took me forever to put it together, like how I wanted the, the tunics to look. Getting back to what I've gotten done. So interface pieces, sleeves that's been sewn up. I've stitched all the darts in all the fronts.
and I've reinforced the neckline. This part here where the front band is gonna go. And I think that's it. What I've decided to do is just sew up one tunic at a time. <laughs> <laughs> until I you know know a little bit more about the manufacturing process or um, study it or decide to leave it to the manufacturers I'm gonna make one at a time my goal is to get this done by maybe Tuesday of next week there is some more travel in my future so I'm not sure how that's gonna work so I'm gonna work diligently to try to get this done on or before Tuesday and yeah we'll see how it goes and I'm back the next day, Saturday, December 4th. It is 10, 15 a.m. and I am ready to get started. I wanted to get down here a little bit sooner, but wasn't able to make that happen, so here I am right now. Yesterday, I did not get as much sewing as I wanted to get done. I had a lot of running around to do, but it balanced out. I stayed into the sewing lab late into the evening and it was fine. So what I'll share with you today is the progress that I made yesterday. Some seam finishes that I'm trying to do. I'm trying different seam finishes. So I've explored several options. Each one of the garments will have a different seam finish. While I do like serging, I don't like it for all of my projects. I'm interested in sewing up my stash and selling it. And you know, when you do that, it's gotta be just right. Like if it's not right, I won't put my name on it. I won't try to sell it. I won't do any of that. And I'm sure you wouldn't either. And finally, I'm just gonna tell you what my goal is for today. This mic, I'm, I'm exploring a new microphone, new sound, new audio options. And this is a little heavy for the shirt that I have on, but so if that looks kind of funny. Try not to pay attention to it. <laughs> This of course is view A because the majority of the tunics are view A. What I got done yesterday was I got the neck band, the front band, I got them on, but I still have to slip stitch them. I thought maybe I would stitch in the ditch, but I'm not sure about that because you know, when you stitch in the ditch, you have to be sure that your stitch in the ditch is gonna catch the, you know, part on the other side. It's gonna catch all of it on the other side or you end up slip stitching part of it anyway. I've done that where I've stitched in the ditch and then I whipped it over and I'm like, oh, it didn't catch this. And I end up like whip stitching or slip stitching a couple of stitches. But so what I have left to do on this one is attach the sleeves, of course, as well as the sleeve bands. I've already attached the hem band. I just need to attach the side bands and that will be it for this one. The goal for today is to, of course, finish this one, maybe finish another one and get halfway through another one if I can't finish the other one. So if I could have three done to that by today, or at least two and a half, I would be so thrilled. So let's see how I do.